Welcome to Azure Databricks end-to-end -end project with Unity Catalog and CI CD. This course is your passport to unlock the full potential of cloud-based data engineering. I'm thrilled to guide you through this comprehensive hands-on journey, which is carefully designed not just for learning, but to equip you with the practical concepts by implementing an end-to-end -end project. In this course, we will deep dive into the Azure Databricks concepts like Unity Catalog, Delta Lake, Spark Structure Streaming, along with understanding these concepts, we'll implement the most required end-to-end -end project using the Medallion architecture. We will make use of the Unity Catalog, Streaming, Delta Lake to implement this project from scratch. Last but not least, we'll also implement the continuous integration and continuous deployment, which is the much needed skill to implement a version control tool. Join me in this educational journey to seamlessly integrate and develop an end-to-end -end project in Azure Databricks. Let us now see about the project architecture that we will implement in this course so that you can get a better idea on what you are going to implement and what exactly you are going to work on. In this course, we will implement an end-to-end -end Databricks project using the batch processing solution. Let's understand our project architecture first so you can make sense of this better. In this, we will have the traffic and the roads data sets, which is the case study to our project. These will be loaded into the landing zone, which is a container in the Azure data lake. In a typical project, we will use an ETL tool like Azure Data Factory to incrementally ingest the data from different data sources. There could be multiple approaches to get the data incrementally loaded to our landing zone. For this course, we will manually input the data into our landing zone to simulate the ETL flow. Because the main purpose of this course is to learn Databricks, not the ETL tool like Azure Data Factory. So we will store this data in a landing container, which is backed up in the Azure Data Lake storage. Then we will take the data to a bronze layer, which is typically a layer that stores all the data coming from landing zone. We will create this using Azure Databricks notebooks. The idea is we need to incrementally ingest the data from landing zone to the bronze layer. Typically, there will be exact copy of the data that will be taken to the bronze layer, which will act as a single source of truth for downstream transformations. So we will store the data in bronze layer as tables under the bronze schema in Azure Data Lake. We will perform few transformations on top of the bronze tables, and we will ensure that transformations were performed only on the newly added records other than the existing ones. So once these transformations were done on the data sets, we will store them as silver tables in the silver schema in the Azure data lake. So this is going to have some business level transformations. And then with some minimal transformations, we are going to take this final data to the gold layer and we will store them as the gold tables in the gold schema. Now these tables are good for reporting BI and for data science purposes. In order to have this project end to end, we will do the reporting to the Power BI service, where we will also try to build a report to get some insights based on our data. And if you can see the architecture so far, you can see there are a lot of schemas, tables to manage. But this is now more easy with the help of the Unity catalog will make use of the Unity Catalog as a governance solution in order to ensure we have the right level of access and permissions for all the tables and schemas in the data lake. We will also make use of the Azure Databricks notebooks for ingesting the data incrementally from the bronze layer to the gold layer. And we will also make use of the Azure Data Lake as a storage layer to complete our project. All the permissions and access will be managed by the Unity Catalog. Now, with this architecture, we are going to build our course. Let's also see what concepts we are going to learn in order to implement this project. Along with the hands-on project, 
we will also deep dive into the concepts like Delta Lake. All the tables that we are creating in this project will be in the Delta format because this is the open source format which is recommended to use in the real time projects. Hence, we are making use of this Delta format and we are going to implement this in our project. We are going to see what exactly is a Delta Lake, why it is evolved and what are the features of the Delta Lake so you can gain more experience in this Data Lake concept. And along with this, we are also going to learn the Unity Catalog. To implement the governance and the access control to this project, we will make use of this Unity Catalog, which is a pretty much recent addition to Azure Databricks. So we will have a separate section entirely for Unity Catalog, where we will understand what exactly it is, how you can create the objects in the Unity Catalog, and we will also simulate a real-time environment, and we will make use of the access control and we will also see how you can implement the permissions. And along with this, we will also see the Spark structure streaming. So we will make use of the Spark structure streaming to understand how streaming works in the Azure Databricks. And we will also implement this in our project to understand the batch processing mode. So we will implement the streaming code to incrementally get the advantage of our batch processing. So we also have a separate section for the Spark structure streaming where we will also see the concepts like auto loader where we can seamlessly ingest billions of files per hour in an incremental fashion. So along with completing this project, we are going to see this concept. So any end-to-end -end project is incomplete without implementing the continuous integration and continuous deployment. This is also an additional skill set that companies expect today from data engineers, at least to have basic understanding on the implementation of CI-CD. So we are going to make use of the issue DevOps to implement the CI-CD to our project so that we can have the end-to-end -end implementation of our issue Databricks project using all these concepts that you are seeing on the screen.